हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम डॉक्टर मिसेस मंगल धेंट आई एम टीचिंग मटेरियल साइंस कोर्स फॉर ए सी इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्लास टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस फ्यू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स फॉर मटेरियल साइंस नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ फ्यू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स टू मेजर द डाइलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ लिक्विड इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल्स टू मेजर द डाइलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ सॉलिड इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल्स एंड टू मेजर द डाइलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ गैसियस इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल्स all these three experiments are of same kind we have to remember different points while writing these tests in the theory exam as well as for the oral examination objectives necessity of test what is the objective of test why you are performing it what equipments are required description of circuit components particularly ratings then connection diagram even if it is oral exam you must be able to draw circuit diagram in detail with the ratings of all equipments then procedure number of repetitions observations as per indian standard specifications precautions to be taken safety precautions as well as cleaning precautions for performing each and every experiment what are the observations observation table and also you must know simple sample one observation reading its range suppose you are finding breakdown voltage of oil then whether you got 3 kilo volt 30 kilo volt or 300 kilo volt so approximate range you must be able to tell then what are the calculations how you have found out then conclusion and what is the standard value as per indian standard specification now before starting discussions i want to ask you one simple question so please take your page and also pen and you write down the question of this reflection spot what do you mean by breakdown voltage and breakdown strain because unless and until you don't know breakdown voltage there is no meaning to discuss how to perform to find out the finding the breakdown strength and breakdown voltage so what is the meaning of breakdown voltage and breakdown strength i'll give some time you think and just find out the meaning of that or what way you will define it breakdown strength is very important and what is breakdown strength so be quick note down the answer or think it okay got it so breakdown voltage is the minimum voltage at which insulating material destructs its insulating properties material will start conducting and breakdown strength is the maximum stress which insulating material can withstand without destruction of its insulating properties now let us see how you will find out breakdown voltage and breakdown strength of oil so test circuit required is like this you will connect normal supply in your lab to 30 volt ac supply generally the range you will give to the auto transformer because you have to vary the voltage you have to find out the minimum voltage at which insulating material breaks down its insulating properties so for variation you will require one auto transformer if it is dc then you will use potentiometer but generally we are giving ac supply then connect that to 30 volt supply through auto transformer to the primary of hv transformer because you have to find out the dielectric strength or breakdown voltage which will be in kilo volt for insulating materials so you need to have very high voltage transformer in your lab so connect your supply voltage to the primary of transformer then step up side of the transformer you will connect across electrodes now as it is oil you have to pour the oil in test cell which is made up of porcelain and then electrodes will be immersed in the test cell which are mushroom shape as per indian standard specifications oil you have to pour above 40 mm of the electrode and 40 mm below the electrode electrode size should be 2.5 cm so all these dimensions you must know how to test it as per indian standard specification your test circuit or the way of testing may be different in the lab but while you are writing in theory you must follow how they can be tested as per indian standard specification so this is general circuit in this circuit voltmeter is shown to the secondary side because you need to find out breakdown voltage which will be the voltage across electrode but 
to measure very high voltage this voltmeter required will be of high value and generally high voltage voltmeter are bulk in bulky in size cost is also very large and transportation also becomes difficult so generally we connect voltmeter to the primary side of the transformer and then using ratio of the transformer you will find out the what is the secondary side reading now as this voltmeter is permanently connected in the test circuit you can use calibrated voltmeter so primary voltmeter is connected to the primary side only but its readings will be marked in terms of secondary so you must know voltmeter is connected to the primary side which is a calibrated voltmeter and circuit breaker is very very essential in this circuit as soon as you will observe breakdown voltage you need to cut off the supply from the electrode otherwise hazardous things will happen breakdown of oil means oil will be no insulating material it will starts conducting so what is the resistance in the circuit will be only resistance of the secondary winding and resistance of the electrode which is very less while voltage will be in kilo hold so thousands of kilo ampere current will flow through the circuit and your college wiring transformer is not designed for such a high kilo ampere current so as soon as flash occurs breakdown occurs circuit breaker needs to cut off the supply so this is about a test circuit then observation table you will just take transform oil which is pure if you want to see the effect of impurity you can also test impure oil then you have to measure distance between the electrodes how much distance you have to keep in lab it may be different but i says it should be 2.1 mm and breakdown voltage you will find out in kilo voltage so how to test it test cell dimensions are mentioned 90 by 55 by 100 mm then electrode size of 12.5 to 13 mm diameter oil level 40 mm above and below gap distance between electrode is 2.5 0.1 mm can be tolerance means plus or minus and variable high voltage supply through a step up transformer so these are requirement from the is point of view now what should be the rate of increasing voltage so that rate is 2 kilo volt per second and when you will observe the spark and hearing you will hear the sound cut up sound of circuit breaker you can say breakdown has occurred and then you can measure voltage and your voltmeter will give value in rms and then standard value i says that if you will test as per is you must get 30 kilo volt repetitions required for oil testing are six times i says that you perform the same experiment with different fresh oils the same oil taken fresh for every time of reading by rinsing the test cell and cleaning precautions six times you have to test it and then you have to find out average why such a number of repetitions are required because value of breakdown voltage will be different even if oil sample will be same because theories are not developed and perfectly and also variation observed is very large so that is required to find out six times and take the average value then the distance between the two electrodes how you will measure it should be accurately set if it is different then breakdown voltage will be different oil level should be as per the mention in the is because that will also affect on the breakdown voltage then electrodes and test cell should be wiped clean and rinse with dry oil because if it will have some moisture or impurities your breakdown voltage will be different viscosity of transformer oil should be low and viscosity also affects on the breakdown voltage and then transformer oil should have flash point higher flash point because if it has low flash point then it may cause fire in the oil so now i want to answer one question to you which is learning by doing exercise because already you had tested this in the lab so now you do some exercise write down the answer in your notebook how you have to measure gap between electrodes means you might have measured differently in the lab but you must know as per indian standard specifications how to measure gap between electrodes so what options you will say it is correct 
whether you will measure by vernier caliper or whether by putting paper of desired thickness in between the electrodes or by filler gauge or by any one option above just select any one correct option yes what do you think vernier caliper no if you use vernier caliper then there will be the scratches on the electrode and that will affect on the breakdown voltage by putting paper uh, in the of desired thickness in the oil test cell no that is also not um, correct uh, procedure because that oil fibers may dissolve in the oil when um, due to that breakdown voltage will be different correct procedure is by filler gauge so filler gauge is will be the strip of desired thickness you have to insert that strip which is marked as go that thickness you will address with the filler gauge and then the another end will be marked as no go so no go side should not go in between the electrodes now second question how you come to know breakdown has occurred just think correct answer yes breakdown has occurred how you will say that breakdown has occurred whether by sound of circuit breaker tripping or flash in the oil or both a and b or carbon impurities form in oil which one is correct yes both a and b majority times you will see flash in the oil and also tripping sound of the circuit breaker so both a and b this option is correct carbon impurities are also formed in the oil that is also indication of the oil breakdown for but for observing carbon impurities you need to take test cell out open its cover and then you can see carbon impurities so this option by this option you will not come to know that breakdown has occurred these are preliminary first two observations so option c is correct now for preparing for the oral exam you can refer various questions oral question list i have also floated on my wordpress website you can go through that website and have a question bank on the oral ex for the oral examination so general questions what oil should be tested why oil should be tested because it is required to find out the breakdown strength of oil before pouring in the transformer you must check if your oil will not withstand desired ratings of the transformer then hazardous thing can happen and once your transformer is in operation then also you need to find out oil periodically because after use oil will degrade and dielectric strength will go on reducing so periodical tests are also very important so two objectives are there for testing the transformer oil routine test and type test you know where oil is used what is its purpose well, then oil is used in the transformer generally you are using transformer oil for this experiment and that oil is used between winding to winding winding to tank of transformer winding to core or you can say that it is also used for cooling purpose is also cooling as well as insulation why oil is preferred over other types of insulation because oil gives cooling also and one peculiar characteristic of oil is regaining its dielectric strength solid can't regain its dielectric strength once you will test any solid paper if you find out breakdown voltage then after that you will not see breakdown voltage because that solid paper will damage completely it does not happen in case of oil oil regains its dielectric strength because deionization process happens in the oil so for oil you may get same readings or little bit near about readings when you will test it again air regains its dielectric strength fully while oil regains its dielectric strength partially then which type of oil is used in the transformer so which type of transformer oil is used so vegetable oil silicon fluid oils hydrocarbon oils these are different types of oils which can be used in the transformer what are the peculiarities of oil insulating material i just told you the regaining of dielectric strength and high dielectric strength you will see breakdown voltage 
of oil is very high. So generally for high voltage equipments, oil is preferred over solid. What are the characteristic specifications? You have to see tan delta, then what is permittivity, what is firing point, what is flash point, what is pouring point, what is viscosity. So prepared all these for the oral questions. How oil is tested? Just now I told you procedure, you must remember how oil is tested.